Okay. Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. This is Blake with Digital Cynics. Um, typically with these Monday videos, we like to do something a bit more high production than simply this. As you probably can tell, I am sick. I actually was intending to make a different video. Um, I was going to be doing a review on a Arctis 7. And yeah, I woke up day of filming with my voice sounding like this. So I figured instead to try to at least appease the YouTube algorithm and not miss an upload date, I would talk about this game that I played over the weekend. The game is 1980X. It is an interesting game. It pretty much is kind of a poster child of the of the term indie darling. It was a it was initially a kickstarted project, um, a highly collaborative effort from my understanding, a lot of different pixel artists working on this game. And it's kind of just like a almost a coming of age story, but intertwined with um, a love letter to 1980s arcade gaming. The story is about a boy named Kid, and Kid is just kind of telling you this um, story of how his life is very uninspiring, and he lives in this suburbia town, kind of outside of the city, and he feels very disconnected from everybody. He feels very out of place, he's an outcast, and he discovers this arcade, and he discovers his love for these video games. And I apologize if I sound kind of vague about this, but because it is such a short experience, um, I run the risk of spoiling anything, so I'm going to kind of talk mostly vague about the overall narrative. But yeah, it's a it's a very it's a very short and sweet game, and I, I beat it in probably three to four hours. But I am a very slow paced gamer. Um, I, I think anybody out there who is even slightly more skilled than I am could probably easily sit down and beat this anywhere in between I don't know two to three hours or so. It's a very short game but I definitely think it's worth the price. So basically the story is being told through different animations and kind of these high quality pixel art uh, cutscenes. In between the story, you get dropped into these different games. And there's like, there's like five games in total, all representing different types of arcade styles. You know, you get dropped into these games similar to like Cruising USA, for example, or um, in the footage that you can see below, there is a beat em up style level as well as a shoot em up level. And they're, they kind of vary in difficulty, but honestly, I think overall it's fairly straightforward and um, not, not too difficult. I'm, I'm personally really bad at shoot em ups, especially horizontal shoot em ups. So the, uh, the shoot em up scene that you see in the video here, it took me a lot longer than this uh, video hints at. I spent a few times getting to it because basically each of these games, it, it's like the equivalent of dipping your toe into a different game genre and it has you clear like the first stage and then after you complete that, then you get pulled back into the narrative and the cutscene. Um, it's an interesting game. It's definitely not like the best game I've ever played, but the thing with these indie titles like this is that they take these risks and they do these different things that really just kind of breaks up the monotony of a lot of the standard AAA titles that we're used to. And I think this is a great game to have for the Switch because it is a short and sweet game, like I said. But it's just a nice game to kind of supplement in between a dry release period for the Nintendo Switch. You can get it on the eShop for, I think, 10 bucks now. I definitely recommend it. But yeah, the, the TLDR of this is it's a nice little sort of a coming of age story mixed in with a love letter to 1980s arcade gaming. And if you're looking for a supplemental time killing game to kind of pad out your Nintendo Switch library, this is definitely something worth picking up. It's a great indie title. And I think, like I said, you can get it on the eShop right now for like 10 bucks. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely recommend getting it. And that's kind of why I'm making this video, not only not only to still not miss an upload, but um, I just feel like this would be a, a game that needs a little bit more attention. But yeah, apologies for the scrambled together video. Our next video on Friday will definitely be a lot better than this one, I promise you that. And expect Monday to be uh, back in schedule with our normal style of videos. But yes, thank you all for bearing with me and my shoddy, sick voice. 
And uh, as always, my name is Blake. Thank you so much for watching. And for all things tech, games, movies, and other nerdy things in between, be sure to subscribe to Digital Cynics. Have a good one, everyone. We'll see you Friday.